Hey, hi, hello there! It's a... Dilemma. And guess who quit their job and cut off most of their hair with no backup plan for a job and only has money to pay off car insurance for a couple of months? It's a real... Dilemma, isn't it? <laughs> well, since I quit, I have a lot more time to draw and animate and have a break from working as an underpaid cashier at a dying store brand. So naturally, I decided to spend hours animating things that happened to me while I worked there. Because, you know, that's what breaks are for. Dwelling for hours on the past and not moving on with one's life. <laughs> Anyways, well, I don't remember which things happened in order because working there made time a blur. But I do know this happened first because it was my first day training on the register. So the lady who was training me was a bit older and very nice, but in her own way. Like sometimes she was unintentionally harsh. Like when we had to check IDs, unless the customer looked over 40. And when she explained it to me, she didn't pull me aside or lower her voice. She just pointed at the customer and said very loudly, See, she doesn't look under 40, so we don't have to check her ID! The poor customer was so embarrassed. But that wasn't even the weird thing that happened that day. When things were slow and we were waiting for customers, she decided to start up some conversation. Which is fine. She just chose to talk about how a month or two prior, she had diarrhea while working the register. The very same register that we were working with at that moment. And she said she didn't even stop working. She finished up with the customer, went to the bathroom, cleaned up, and kept working. Didn't go home and change or anything, just right back to work. Is this what life in the real world is like? <clears throat> so there was this other time where this older dude rode up to my register in one of those electric carts, and I did my generic Hello, how are you today? And he just looks up at me while unloading his cart and says, You remind me of my first wife. Is there a proper response to that? Like, what on earth do I say to that? My attempt at a response was, Well, I hope she was nice. And his reply was one I'll never forget. Yeah. And nothing else. Truly a man with much wisdom to share. Okay, so... This next event makes me laugh a lot, and it probably shouldn't as much as it does. So I feel like a lot of us know of those moms who gently ask their screaming children to please be quiet as their children continue to scream. Normally I just try to ignore them and continue with my day, but I worked in customer service, so I had to talk to people and couldn't ignore them because that's rude. So this really nice lady had this little boy in one of those carts that are shaped like cars, and he had his little alligator toy and he was waving around. Naturally he was yelling and roaring pretending to be an alligator, I guess, and his poor mom was asking him to use his inside voice, and he responds with, Alligators don't have inside voices! And without thinking, I blurt out, Yeah, and they don't talk either. And immediately, I realized what I had said and threw my hand over my mouth and hoped the lady wouldn't be mad. But I don't think she heard me over her continuously screaming child. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Well, these are just a few of the random things that happened at my old job, and these are the more tame events that occurred. If you'd like a part two with more of the crazy stuff, then leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, scream about alligators, tell unbearably long and personal stories to cashiers, or just tell me in person. Most of the people watching already know me in real life anyways, so yeah. I gotta go do absolutely nothing now. Love you, call you back later, bye. Well, I hope she was nice. Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bleh. <laughs> bleh. 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 You remind me of my first wife. <laughs>